Hello everyone and welcome to Studio Vlog 9. So today we are making um, like signage for my um, my booth, my convention booth. I do have a convention in August and this is going to be my first ever vending convention. I was supposed to start vending in 2020 but you know then COVID happened so that did not happen but it's all right. It actually gave me time to rebrand myself before I was uh, selling only handmade products and had a completely different branding and realized that I didn't really have a specific theme throughout my uh, shop so I eventually ended up changing it to Halloween year round because I completely love Halloween and realized that there isn't many uh, shops that are Halloween year round that I know of and why not be one of those small businesses that sells Halloween year round products? So it gave me time to rebrand myself. So right now I am just printing out um, on my new printer um, on cardstock some uh, signage for pricing on my items. I already uh, lowered pricing depending on you know whether I use certain packaging for shipping and stuff so uh, these prices are with all of that deducted and also because you're getting it um, in person it just you know lowers the price um, because you're not paying for that shipping cost as well so um, yeah I just went ahead and got those out on these cards I made these on um, on a mixture of Procreate and a mixture of Photoshop and then I went ahead and put them on one sheet so I can go ahead and print them out. So I'm just printing out on 110 pound cardstock paper and then um, actually I think I think it is a hundred it's either 100 or 110 cardstock paper. I just had some leftovers and I'm gonna be cutting them with my guillotine and then also I'm gonna be laminating them with my laminator that I actually got as a hand-me-down. I absolutely love my laminator. It is older, um, way older. It takes a little bit longer to heat up, but um, it laminates absolutely amazing and you know, why not take it off someone's hands if they don't need it, right? I will end up using it and I have. So yeah, um, here they are. Here is my super old laminator. I actually tried looking up that uh, TDE systems um, laminator and I, I didn't see anything new. So I don't know if that company even exists anymore. I just know this is like apparently a 15 year old laminator, maybe older. It, it's an old laminator. That's all I know. It's a really old one. So I got these lamination sheets. Um, the person who handed the, this down to me actually had a bunch of lamination sheets, thank goodness. And then I just slip it right through. This is honestly one of the most satisfying things of laminating. You just get to see that just nice and crisp. And the quality of the cardstock actually looks so much nicer with the laminated sheet on it. I absolutely love it. It's so great. And then Oh, getting to feel it. I don't know. I just love watching the videos. I love watching it. While I was recording it, I was watching the screen because I couldn't see the back of it since it's on my desk. And I was just like, oh my goodness, this is absolutely amazing. Just look at that. Look at that. It's all laminated. It's done. And then I get to just go ahead and cut them out on the, the guillotine. No problem. So I'm going to do the same thing with all of the rest of the sheets. Um, to make sure that they're all nicely laminated. The reason I'm doing this is because they're gonna be clipped on these like clear clips on my table and I don't know if I'll be outside or inside, you know, for future um, events. So I just wanna make sure that they're nice and good. And then also paper tends to get run down when you're storing it. So um, having them laminated is actually gonna make them last way longer for me. So yeah.
Alrighty, so my lamination sheets are done, and now time to get the guillotine out and cut them. So here we go. Poof, it just appeared. Wow, wow, that was amazing. It just randomly appeared. Um, I need to make sure to unlock it. This is uh, very new to me. I have always wanted one of these and have seen so many other small business owners use them. I actually used to volunteer in school to help the teachers at my old middle school for, um, I just did extra credit, like, extra credit not extra credit but um is it called volunteer hours at the middle school while well, i was in the high school so i would sometimes cut some papers and stuff for the teachers so it's really cool actually owning my own of these um and then just you know getting to cut my own papers i don't know it's just such a satisfying feeling being able to cut them like just look at that look came out so nice and um i can't wait to display these they're gonna be so awesome um, but yeah, chop, chop, chop. We're just cutting them all up and making sure that they're all nice and perfect. Um, it's fine if they have a little bit of the clear on top, you know, but none of the white. I'm trying to make sure that all the white pieces of paper are completely gone. And I really like that I was able to save paper um, in a way by putting, you know, all four pieces just on one piece instead of um, having individuals. Um, because I would have been wasting a lot of paper at that point. But yeah, we're just going to be cutting the sheets until they are completely all nice and cut so we can nicely display them. so they are now nice and cut here they are they're all done there we go all of them and now i am going to be cutting some prints i decided to do my first home prints ever i normally get them done by minutemen prints and i love them so much but i have so many prints that i have not sold um so i just thought i should test out some from home 
and I'm going to be cutting these. I do have some backing board so that I can put them in a nice little uh, cellophane bag sleeve and then put a uh, black backing board uh, which I got off of clear bags. I recommend using clear bags. I absolutely love them for a backing board and they even sent me extra backing boards so I have a bunch left. Um, but yes, definitely recommend them. So I thought I should print some out. I um, really like how they look. I did end up buying a, like new paper specifically just for the prints. Um, it is thicker. I believe this is 120 pound cardstock paper, which I had never ever seen anywhere. It is very thick paper, um, but it was a nice little test. And now I have a bunch of paper um, in case I want to do my own prints. It does take up a lot of ink doing my own prints, but if I'm only selling one-offs, it's fine. I haven't posted these in my shop yet, just because I don't know how to properly take photos of prints to post them on an online shop. So I'm maybe considering only doing prints at cons. I feel like they're much easier to sell at cons. Um, I know I, for a fact, like shopping for prints at cons um, much better because, like, you get to see the full color in person. Like, I, I don't know. It's just, yeah. But um, maybe I'll end up posting them on my online shop at some point. If y'all think I should post them on my online shop, definitely go ahead and tell me in the comments. Because um, I'll see how I can post those on my online shop or on my Etsy. Um, it's just one of those things that I'm like, I don't know if I should post them yet. So these are the three that I've done. This first one was actually my first print. I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to fit. It's a 5 by 7 print, I believe. And I was like, oh, or is it a 4 by 6 No, I think it's a 5 by 7 And um, I just ended up printing out one piece, but that wasted a lot of paper. So I learned from that mistake and ended up putting, it, putting another one on another piece. But it's fine. I actually ended up using one of the prints for my wall. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do this year is learn to appreciate my artwork a lot more and I am now getting to that point where I can appreciate my artwork a little bit more. Um, one of the things that I grew up with was people telling me that my artwork was just cute and um, not good. <laughs> like they, they wouldn't say it was good, they'd just be like, oh, I, I like your art style. It's 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 cute and that actually really really brought me down i really really did not like when people would say that because they were really good artists and whenever they would just say that my artwork was cute with that pause it made me very self-conscious um just know that if you feel like that you're not the only one out there that feels like that i have always felt like that like i love having cute artwork but not cute artwork with a pause like <laughs> makes me very self-conscious so yes um definitely trying to appreciate my artwork a little bit more and like i said i am now like a lot of the things i've designed i am very very proud of and i only try to put out the best work that i like which is kind of why it takes me a while to put out some work um and just coming up with new products i always want to come up with new products but the expense hurts sometimes you know um i do work full-time so i actually put a lot of my money from my full-time job to start this business and run it right now because i'm still um still growing you know and without cons it makes it very difficult to brand myself out there <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to be cutting these prints. I am almost completely done, as you can see. This is the last um, set of prints that we have to cut. This is my um, pumpkin uh, head witch, I think is what I called her. Um, I actually want to do a cosplay with a pumpkin head, so I thought I should draw that out. It is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but actually requires carving a pumpkin. And here are the backing boards I was talking about. Awesome, you could choose different colors. I chose black because black goes better with my brand. And then I had cellophane bags that I put them in. I had already pre-packaged them way long time ago, so I could just easily slip in any new prints that I decide to do. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now.
Alrighty, so now that those are done, I actually worked on some earrings as well. So I have been testing out um, just a couple different types of products. I used to make a lot of handmade earrings and sold them as well in my shop, but now I just do those as mystery uh, bags or freebies in my um, orders because they never sold. I they, Like I said, I never really had a cohesive branding, um, and now that I do, I decided to make some earrings. These are little ghost earrings. Um, they're just made with like these uh, little vinyl ghosts, and um, I'm just putting them in my backing cards, pretty much testing them out on where I would want them to be so I can um, actually like pin the um the backing card exactly how i'm gonna want it to be but yeah i'm just taking them out now i'm gonna grab the actual card that i'm gonna use i'm pretty much just attacking the other one that i'm actually gonna use underneath and then i'm gonna be properly pinning them uh down so i can put the earrings where they're supposed to go and i'm going to be doing pretty much one set of each these are also another item that i have not posted in my online shop yet and i was wondering hey should i post them if i should then go ahead and definitely tell me and i will post them on my etsy and on my online shop or just on one or the other um it might just be something that i only sell at cons like I said, I'm still trying to get used to kind of what I should sell and not overdo it because I do have way too much previous inventory right now and I don't know what to do with it besides freebies and mystery bags. So yeah, we're just pretty much going to be testing out how I want these and putting them on their little backing cards.
So there are the last few. Something that I have noticed um, that a lot of small business owners don't do is they don't put the little silicone backings on their earrings. I have actually received some earrings and like from small business owners or bought some and they don't have the silicone backings and it makes me a little like why are they just buying the hooks like that or uh, do they think we don't need the silicone backings i always include silicone backings on my earrings i will tell you that right now um, because i have tried wearing earrings without the silicone backings just by bending the ears and they always fall out and i end up losing an earring so I, I still don't know if you're a small business owner and don't include the silicone backings. I, I'm curious why. Um, if you you can put that in the comments, I'm really curious. I I don't know if there's like something behind not putting the silicone backings, but I always do. I just buy a set that has the hooks and the silicone backings. I have all sorts of types of silicone backings and will always include them on my earrings. So I'm making sure to put a silicone backing for every single earring set. Now that that is done, we are going to be putting all of these little earrings in poly bags. I have a bunch of poly bags from the past and also just some that I bought um, for my pins. You know, I've been watching a lot of small business owners, um, you know, small, small and young small business owners, and I've been learning a lot about... Um, just being eco-friendly and learning more uh, about products that small business owners can use to be more eco-friendly and I want to eventually eliminate the poly bags uh, to be more eco-friendly but we will see I might start using less poly bags in my business and maybe just start doing more um I forgot what kind of bags they are but they're like the kind of clear but not really clear bags um I, I've seen a lot of artists use those, so I definitely want to start being a little bit more eco-friendly. I do appreciate all of the small business owners that are on YouTube that are constantly telling us like, hey, this is where I recommend you to buy these bags. Um, this is what you should do. Recycle. Include a little note about recycling. I really, really enjoy that. So thank you so much to everybody who does make YouTube videos and is always encouraging us to recycle and um, be very aware about our planet. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate that. I will eventually want to start steering that way my myself too but I have so much inventory um and so many like so, so much supplies to to package inventory right now that isn't that eco-friendly but I don't want to put it to waste and I want to make sure that I'm using it so um that's pretty much what I'm gonna do and try using it and hopefully eventually once I get the money and end up using up all the supplies I currently have I can go ahead and move on to the more eco-friendly products
So we are getting here towards the end of the video. This is pretty much what I did, um, just a bunch of getting stuff ready. I want to be ready for con season, and like I said, my first convention is in August of 2021, if that doesn't get pushed back. So we will see. I'm just going to continue the hustle and make sure that I have stuff ready for that convention, whether I sell a lot or whether I don't. You know, I never know. We will see when the time comes. But thank you so much for watching my studio vlog 9, and I will see y'all in the next video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, morning, or night whenever you're watching this. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and if y'all want to check out my shops, I have the links below. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye everyone, have a good one!